Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we've got another unboxing. Today we got in the HP Chrome Base. This is an all-in-one Chrome OS device and we're going to unbox it in just a second, but I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is on loan from HP. So we're done with this, it goes back to them. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this unboxing, nor has anyone reviewed or approved it before we uploaded it. And I am actually streaming this unboxing live which you can catch occasionally on my Amazon live channel. And we're gonna take this thing out of the box and then we're gonna have a full review coming up a little bit later in the week. Now again, this incorporates a display and a base in which the computer is located. So it's similar to maybe what you might associate with an iMac or something like that. And this is the overhead view as we get all the stuff out of the box here. And this being an all-in-one, let me give you the other angle here. This being an all-in-one, it's not that heavy actually, a lot lighter than my iMac is. Actually, yeah, it's got a little bit of weight to it now that I <laughs> have picked it up. Um, and I'll give you the other view here. So as you can see how it attaches, and we'll get this thing on the desk and a little better situated in a second. So this is the unit itself. And I'm gonna put this box down and we'll continue in a second. All right, so there are two other boxes in the box, a box within a box, if you will. And in here, and if I'll move this back a little bit so we can get the overhead of what's in this box, this looks like we've got the power supply. Yep, we've got the power supply here. This is a 90 watt power supply. Now this particular Chrome, uh, Chrome base is running with an i3 processor, but they also have one of the lower powered Intel chips as well. Um, but if you can get it, the i3 is probably the better of the two for, from a performance standpoint. Got my AC cord here for the United States and some warranty stuff here. And then this looks like the keyboard and mouse. Yep, so we've got the keyboard here. This kind of reminds me of the, the Raspberry Pi has it, actually it, feel, it looks exactly like it. The Raspberry Pi has a little mini computer that is basically a keyboard. It looks a lot like this actually. And actually I have it over here. I'll show you what it looks like in comparison. They're very similar, a little different, but they, they look the same. And this Raspberry Pi here actually has the entire computer in the keyboard, believe it or not. Really neat little product. Um, but this is the keyboard component. And it looks like under here, maybe this is for the battery. Let's see. It's like a little thing that you can move. All right, we'll come back to that in a second so I can do it without breaking it, but that's the keyboard. And then we have a mouse, and this looks like a wireless mouse with a switch on it. And I am guessing there is probably, yep, so the batteries go in there. It looks like it runs on two triple A's maybe? And I'm hoping, that we'll, yep, there's some batteries in here. Yep, two AAA batteries right in there. And there does not appear to be a dongle. Actually, we got four batteries. Oh, must be one for the keyboard. So that's what that door is for on the keyboard there, is to get that going. And it looks like these are Bluetooth, so we don't need a dongle to take up one of the USB ports. And speaking of ports, why don't we unwrap the rest of the computer here and see what this thing has on board. Now, like a lot of HP products we've looked at recently, um, it has some nice carpeting on it here. It's got that gray HP look. Um, on the back, we've got a power switch, headphone jack. We've got two USB Type-C ports here. Uh, one of them is labeled as a, actually, no, okay, I see how they do this here. So we have two USB-C ports here, and then we have two USB-A ports over here. I can zoom in a little bit on those so you can get a better look at them. And then it looks as though the power cord goes in at the bottom here and feeds out under the base. The base feels super sturdy, so it has a really good weight to it. It's not gonna tip over, even though it kind of has like a traffic cone kind of look to it at the uh, back here. It actually feels pretty solid on the desk, very heavy base. And one of the neat things about this, and we'll cover this in the full review, is that you can rotate the display as you can see it does sit kind of high. I don't think there's a way to lower it. Nope, it's kind of locked in there. Um, but you can rotate the display and get a, a portrait or a landscape mode to it uh, when you are working on it. It looks to be like a 16 by nine display. And I'll look up the resolution here in a second. It is quite shiny. I'm assuming maybe a touch display. We'll take a look at that in a second too. So we've got it booted up now. And one thing that I suggest you do before you turn it on, because I made this mistake, 
is to get the batteries into the mouse and the keyboard here. And you saw me struggling with that earlier. What you have to do is just get your fingernails in there and just pop open that bottom case to get the batteries in. So put those batteries in, turn them on, and then boot the machine up. It found my mouse because I put it into pairing mode, and there is a pairing button on the back of the keyboard here. And I did not see any instructions as to how to do this in the manual, um, but you do have the ability to use the touch screen here if you want. Uh, this one, as I mentioned, has an i3 processor inside. Uh, they also have a lower spec Pentium version available. And I have to type in some keys here. Uh, and this one has 16 gigabytes of RAM in dual channel mode, uh, but there are a bunch of different memory configuration options. HP has a video on their repair YouTube channel that will show you how to upgrade it. So you can upgrade the RAM, the storage, and you can swap out the wireless card if you want. So there is some upgradability to it. It doesn't look like it's too hard to get into it, but there is a lot of stuff you have to unscrew to get into uh, the computer to get the motherboard uh, accessible. And then, of course, we can go here and just get started uh, getting our Chrome base set up. The display is a 1080p display, and as you can see here, it does rotate and it will adjust its orientation. And what I'm going to do next is get this thing set up, and then we're going to have a full review on my main channel very shortly. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, this is Lon Seiden. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Jim Tannis and Tom Albrecht. Hot Sauce and Video Games and Eric's Variety Channel. Brian Parker and Frank Goldman. Amda Brown and Matt Zagaya. And Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.